Two at four, we're hearing from the wife of Fall River Mayor Paul Coogan, who was just released from the hospital. This after a car crashed into her and two other cyclists during a race in Mattapoisa back on Halloween. Well, tonight she and Mayor Coogan are speaking together for the first time about that incident and the impact it's already having on their lives. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie is live in Fall River with details about what happened that Sunday morning. Alex? Well, Kim, Judy St. Hilaire says that she doesn't remember being hit by a car that day when she says she's uh, her bike was falling over. But the mayor's wife doesn't remember the vehicle that hit her, but she does remember waking up underneath it. It just happened so fast. We didn't have time to react. I don't even know if I braked. I just I don't know. I don't remember. Recalling the moment of impact brought Judy St. Hilaire's husband, Fall River Mayor Paul Coogan, almost to tears. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. The mayor says he was at an event at the Fall River Police Station when he got the call that morning. I said Judy Sell on the phone. I said, "What is she stopping early or something today?" And it was a, a guy calling me to tell me to meet her up at St. Luke. She had gotten in a bad accident. So he rushed to New Bedford to be by his wife's side two nights before he was up for re-election. Judy says she hasn't spoken to the driver that hit her since, but doesn't hold a grudge against him. He reached underneath the truck and he was upset. I mean, he's like, I'm so sorry. It was bad judgment, but I mean, it's we I don't think people realize some of the bikers are moving faster than they are. Judy was in the ICU with broken ribs and a punctured lung, but her bike there's no scratches whatsoever was a different story. That's what blows my mind. It's not even a scratch on it. Now, Judy says she does know the other two cyclists that were hit. She says while one did suffer a broken rib, the other one didn't have any injuries at all. We did reach out to police to see if the driver is facing any citations or charges, but haven't yet heard back. Reporting live in Fall River, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.